I don't have a drink, so it's not gonna work out. Uh, so yeah, I can't do the, the sip ski with the water. So we're just gonna start 100% flat out. This is where we are. We are at the very tail end of the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. And I've been thinking the whole time, I was like, I've been wanting to do this for a while now. And I heard about it originally and I saw this on the menu and I was like, you know what? I gotta get this, gotta get this, gotta get this. And I kept putting it off, the procrastinator that I am. And we're finally here. We're literally days away from the event being over with. And I'm finally here, finally at Epcot. Like I've been every single Friday beforehand, I'm finally filming this video. This is going to be promoting the Epcot Sunshine Griddle, which is basically the location of the donut box normally. And these are the guide here, the festival passport. We're focusing on two things today and it's kind of a theme here. So basically it's breakfast time. So we're going back to the FX network. Yeah, only one person's probably gonna get that. Maybe not even that, but still. Comedy for one is still comedy. So Owen here live from Epcot, once again, right outside of Sunshine Griddle. The sun decided to grace us with its presence, at least for a little bit, uh, even though I see the skies are wanting to uh, cloud up again and probably rain on us for the rest of the day, but hopefully we'll not have any more problems. But still, I am here for our last and final edition of Sip and Snack here from the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. Taste of the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival because we go into food and wine next. I'm very much excited for that. So this is the first thing we're going to do. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. These are the fried cinnamon roll bites. Look at these. These are amazing. So basically, these are cinnamon rolls with cream cheese frosting and candied bacon. There seems to be a little bit of a deal now with candied bacon being a thing. I've done it a lot this year, a lot the last couple of years. So it's something I've been wanting to try for a while. I got a nice little fork ski here. And if you want to buy this, it is $4.25. But chances are by the time you watch this video, it's not going to be here anymore. But yeah, this is kind of like a retroactive sip and snack basically. So we're going to try this and see what it looks like first. It's interesting because when you bite into it, or in this case, carve into it, as I break it off here. There we go. You see like the cinnamon, like ooze out from the cinnamon roll. And it's really good because I obviously I want to make a nice little Mitch Hedberg reference. Rest in peace. So let's see what we try this here. It's got a little bit of candied bacon on top. So let's try it. To me, there's a little too much cream cheese. By itself, this is really good. Candied bacon's got a great little crisp to it. I enjoy it. This is definitely something I'd recommend. I've got the, my thumb ski is covered in all this, all the cinnamon goo. But yeah, this is good. Definitely recommend this cinnamon roll with basically like cinnamon inside here. So like cinnamon filling. It's really good. I recommend it. Here's the one I was curious about. First found out about this and apparently it was supposed to go many different colors throughout the run of the event. And we've now settled on cherry. So this is going to be the Fruit Loops Shake. And it's like 90 degrees outside right now. So it's probably gonna melt ski really fast. But yeah, it's got the Fruit Loops on top. You can barely see it. And we're gonna try it here. I got my straw here. These special Disney straws that I hate so much. They're great for the environment, but they are not good for anything else. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and try it, see what it tastes like. Yeah, 100%, you get what you pay for. It is quite literally a Fruit Loops milkshake. I've seen Burger King has done it before. Epcot's doing it this year. I can definitely taste the milk. It tastes kind of like Fruit Loops milk is basically what it is for all intents and purposes. And given the fact it's like 90 degrees outside, that makes sense, that's exactly what it would be. But yeah, this is your sip and snack today. I'm trying to get a nice little, uh, let's try the best I can for a thumbnail because these are hard when you're on location to get thumbnails that work. Hopefully that worked. Anyway, that's your sip and snack for today. I'm gonna go back to America. Of course, it's time for more Voices of Liberty. That video is gonna be coming up very soon if it hasn't already been posted by now. Got a water parks concert, obviously. Did an acoustic set over at Park Avenue CDs across town. And I got that entire show and it's gonna be on this channel sooner rather than later. In the meantime, I wanna thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I gotta say about that.